Well, good morning. In this video, I head off into my local forest for a short shoot, just a few hours long. And rather than take my medium and large format film cameras, I decide to travel light for a change. So I'm packing, first off, an old folder camera, 6x9. This is a Zeiss Kona from the 1950s. It takes very large negatives. And secondly, I'm bringing along a Nikon 301. That's actually the model I started photography with all those years ago. So very straightforward and simple day out shooting. And when I get back, I'd like to pick the best image and make an A3 print out of it. So let's see what we can get. So here we are then, down in the forest. It's as dull as dull can be. I don't think I've ever seen it so dull. So I'm gonna have to really put my thinking cap on if it's not to be a wasted trip. Well, I am pleased to say that I can see an absolute ton of potential here. I mean, it's still too dark at the moment to start shooting. I've uh, got to wait really probably about another half hour to an hour to get some light, but this is going to be very good. Well, I've set up now for my first shot and I think it's important to take a shot pretty early on now because I need to get inspired, need to start seeing things. So if I get a couple of shots in the bag, it's going to be easier. Now I've got a short telephoto zoom on here using about 85 millimeters F16 and I've cropped in on a nice area of woodland, small trees, bit of water, plenty of sort of undergrowth and, and moss in there. And I'm going to actually take three frames of this because it is pretty dark despite what the video might look like. Four seconds, eight seconds and 16 seconds. ISO 100, going to be plenty of detail in there, no real highlights and absolutely no sky whatsoever. While I'm here, I'm not one to uh, pass up an opportunity and walk miles for another shot. There is a composition I also took six months ago, recycling, and I'm going to reshoot it again, this time obviously with a different camera, different lighting, different time of year. Uh, I'll probably pop up a comparison with the earlier shot as well, just to see what you think. And I'm also going to break out the big old folder camera. It's uh, yeah, there's enough light now to shoot with it. It's a bit uh, difficult to see what you're doing looking through a tiny little viewfinder, but uh, see what comes out of that as well. Another small composition has caught my eye here. It's just a group of saplings coming through the water. Nothing special, but to make the most of it I've had to crop right in, so I've used a short telephoto zoom. I've tried some with the polarizer, and I'm going to try a couple without. Sometimes killing the reflections too much can take away from the image, so worth having a balance to choose from. Pick later. Right, I think I'll nip back to the car, 
grab a coffee and a snack and maybe move to another area probably just walk to it to be honest there's a lake called dead lake and when i first went there about two three years ago i had quite a lot of success and since then i've drawn a blank every time there's a couple of other guys who go there quite frequently like uh, colin bell and he gets great shots Now the setup for this couldn't be simpler. Standard camera lens, 50mm, set at f11, focused on the trees in front of me, you know, eighth of a second, taking a couple of different compositions. And I'm even tempted to actually do a, um, a stitch panoramic by going up the tree. I'll get some sort of uh, convergence and I'll have to correct that later in, in Lightroom. But uh, it may make an interesting shot, especially as I'm shooting on film. And uh, I've never really tried anything like this before. Typically I'd use digital, but uh, might take three frames and see what comes out of it. Well, I've come round to the side of the lake now, facing back to where I was earlier, and I've picked up on a rather nice composition with a, an old dead tree trunk with some saplings just growing next to it with some autumnal colour on them. Now I'm going to have to zoom right in on my little zoom lens here, which is a, whoop, don't fall in the water, a little uh, 75 to 150. I'm at 150, and I'm going to shoot it wide open at f4, and I'm also going to shoot it at f8, and maybe f11 give me a choice of depth of field because obviously with a film camera I can't preview it very effectively. Well that's it for the morning. Just a short trip out. Probably uh, half a dozen shots or so. A couple of rolls of film, one in the big old folder and one in the 35mm camera. So I'll go back home, get them processed, get them into the vlog. So here's the image I've selected from the 6x9 folder. On the left we have the unmodified image straight from the scanner and on the right the image I've processed in Lightroom. Now all I've done here really is bump up the contrast and do quite a lot of local dodging and burning. Added a little bit of clarity but not much and then done a lot of sharpening for the output on the printer. Now it's done, I'm going to send it to the printer using a matte paper.